Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'll be making a video about Air Canada's recent announcement that they'll be taking on electrical aircraft before the end of the decade. Now, earlier today, Air Canada announced its intention to purchase 30 ES-30 electrical aircraft from Hart Aerospace, along with also taking a $5 million equity state in Hart Aerospace. Now, before we get into more details about this order and what I think it entails for Air Canada, let's take a closer look at the ES-30 as an aircraft. Now the ES-30 and the smaller ES-19 are a family of small electrical aircraft being built by Hart Aerospace, a Swedish aircraft manufacturer. Now at this point, the ES-30 and ES-19 both haven't been built yet. However, Hart Aerospace intends on having the ES-19 flying by 2026. In the larger variant, the ES-30, which Air Canada has ordered by 2028. Now the ES-30 seats 30 passengers and the ES-19, 19 passengers, hence the naming, which makes them quite small aircraft, ranging between the size of a Beechcraft and a Saab 340 or Dash 8100. However, this does appear to be the first electrical aircraft gaining some serious traction in the aviation industry as of late. Many of you may recall Misa Airlines, a United subsidiary's order for the aircraft type. They ordered the uh, ES-19, which is that smaller variant I was talking about earlier. Other airlines have also expressed interest in the type, like Finnair, Air Greenland, and recently, as of today, SAS as well. Now, it will definitely be interesting to see how this aircraft fits into Air Canada's operation. With the 30-seater aircraft, it slots right between Air Canada's recently retired Beechcraft 1900s and Dash 8 100s. So it's likely that we'll see this aircraft serve a similar role to the aforementioned planes, likely flying low-demand regional routes, and feeder routes from small cities into Air Canada's larger hubs. This order is definitely a change in tune from Air Canada and possibly a sign of recovery for them. Prior to and during the pandemic, Air Canada phased out many of their smaller aircraft like the Beechcraft 1900D, Dash 8 100 and 300, along with a few CRJ 200s as well. So with the addition of these 30 new 30 seat aircraft, they'll become the smallest aircraft in Air Canada's fleet. However, as Air Canada and the aviation industry continue to recover from the pandemic, Air Canada is likely looking for an aircraft in the future that will be able to return to these smaller capacity routes in their network. And with their current fleet of CRJ200s, which are likely to be retired at some point, and larger Q400s seating almost double the amount of passengers, they need that kind of small aircraft to get a decent load factor on these routes. The aircraft will also be a great publicity move for Air Canada, as it allows them to highlight their environmental goals to both the public and the government. It is also likely to give them a far superior product on these routes, being much more comfortable than aircraft that other airlines operate, like WestJet Saab 340s. However, it's certainly clear that the focus of this aircraft order is certainly around its sustainability over that. But yeah, it will definitely be interesting to see these aircraft flying with Air Canada in 2028, if the aircraft program gets off the ground. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this order in the comments, and see you guys back next time.